to you from the Concrete Foundations Forum in Los Angeles. And of course, it's a great place to meet up with some of your favorite bands and my favorite bands actually, catch up on all their latest news. And if you're a regular viewer of the ball, then you know that Danzig are well up there in my top 10 bands. So I'm very pleased to say hello to John from Danzig. He's joining me here in Los Angeles. John, welcome to Headbangers Ball. Um, is this your first time at the convention? This is actually my first time, yeah. So first what's, your, Im inside. what's your impression so far? Uh, I'm having a great time. It's very mm -hmm. intense, lots of good music, and I've met more MTV and radio people and industry people than I've ever seen in one place in my life. It's crazy. And you've, you've actually been involved on one of the panels as well, haven't so you? So far, one panel. I was on a press panel today, mm -hmm. and uh, tomorrow I'll be on an artist panel. Great, yeah, and I'll see you there. Great, yeah. looking forward to it. Well, there's a lot to I talk love about. this hair. Oh. It's in this blue, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot to talk about with Danzig because, of course, you've had a massive hit in the States with Mother, a song that was written back in 1988. It was a great song it's nearly seven years ago. Why has it suddenly been accepted seven years later? Uh, well, music has changed. You know, we um, were we were one of the first that came out with a sort of alternative type of hard rock sound. It wasn't metal. It wasn't necessarily alternative. It was hard to put a label on it. It was very stripped down. And um, of course, our hardcore fans liked the song way mm -hmm. back when. Um, in '93, we had the big tour going and the big show at Irvine Meadows right. on Halloween, the big yes. extravaganza with White Zombie, and um, our record company and Glenn decided to remix the song and put it out mm -hmm. and they really got behind it. You know, the company had been growing uh, American recordings now, used to be Deaf American, mm -hmm. and they've been growing and developing. Now they're in a position to really put some effort and uh, creativity behind it and have to give them a lot of credit because they pushed it over the top. Yeah, and I mean, as you said, it was a live version that, that actually brought the song out to the fore and I think that's really, really added to it as well because you have that o the audience singing along and it, it's just added so much atmosphere, hasn't it? It's great. Uh, on the Metallica tour, you know, I go up there on stage and I know the song's coming and every city's a little bit different, but when I play those first three chords, the place just comes alive. It goes crazy. <laughs> Energy level just hits the roof yeah. and I get chills up my spine. I'm getting chills right now just thinking about it. And then they sing along to the whole song. Glenn half the time puts the microphone out, lets them sing Brilliant. the chorus. And uh, then we have them for the rest of the night. They're ours. Brilliant. And it's uh, it's been a long time in coming, but it's it's been worth every minute. Good, good. Now, as you said, you have done Metallica shows. Were you um, actually tr playing new songs? Because I know your new album's finished. We uh, we only played the first track on the record, and occasionally uh, we played Going Down to Die, but mm -hmm. uh, just really gave him a taste of one or two songs here and mm -hmm. there, just to test it out and see how it went. And can you give us a little insight into the new material? Have you got an album title or any surprises? Yeah, a lot of surprises. Uh, the title is going to be, well, standard title, Danzig 4. Um, a lot of surprises on the record. You know, you have to listen to your whole CD. That's all I'll tell you. Listen to your whole CD. <laughs> um, a lot of different vocal sounds coming at you. Right. And some different production effects that uh, we haven't used before, almost reminiscent of the band before Danzig, Sam Hain, some right. older type of sounds uh, with new drums, new drum sound. Um, and the, the vocals, you'll hear Glenn sing in a way you've probably never heard him sing before. Wow. Well, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, do you have a release date or any touring plans yes. for Europe? We have a release date. is October 4th. Europe, uh, we're still trying to schedule those shows, but it's looking like it's going to be a summer festival type of Brilliant. tour next year. I think we're just going to do a little warm-up five or six week tour here before Christmas and then pick it up in January. Excellent. There you go, the latest news on Danzig. Thanks John, I nice talking to Lovely you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, with your permission, we're going to show uh, actually a slightly different version of uh, the Danzig mother song because this version was actually recorded by MTV. I'm not, did you do it in the studios in New York or where did you do that? Which, the original mother? No, the actual video we're going to see, the MTV version of the video song. Which song? Mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the live one was yeah. out here. It was actually filmed in uh, Irvine, California, mm -hmm. and also in England at the Country Club in London. Mm -hmm. And some of it was in Scotland and Wales as well. We had a film crew for that tour in 93. So right. it's a, you know, it's a combination of all these different shows. The big live shots are obviously the big concert hall. Okay. Okay. So you'll well, see our clothes change and everything else. All right. Okay, well, actually, I'm not making myself clear here. We have got a version that MTV made for you. That's the one I'm talking about. Ah. And that's the one we're going to show because we saw the other one last week because we play so many Danzig videos, you see. Okay. So we're going to show this one. This is Mother 
94 version. Danzig, watch out for a new album in October. Can't wait to see it.